Ah yes, the dainty quacking along the creek signals warm weather has finally arrived and the ducks have started mating. Oh wait, my bad. Those mallards aren't quacking. Sorry, the cameraman's a bit slow today. Ah, there you go. And the quacking wood frogs have started mating. After a couple of warm weather days in early spring, the wood frog is one of the first species of frogs in the northeast to begin mating rituals. A vernal pool makes the perfect place for the wood frog orgy, where the term orgy may not be the technical term, but it probably has better SEO. I'm just being straight with you. These frogs have come from all around their terrestrial hangouts to this very small pool. Only during this seasonal activity will you see so many wood frogs in such crowded numbers, making such annoying sounds. And yes, that goes for your quacking too, Mr. and Mrs. Mallard. The goal of this orgy is to pass on genetic code into the next generation, and everyone wants to go. I mean, why not? Everyone's doing it, and it's apparently the cool thing to do, if you're an adult. Most of the males just wait in the pool, quacking, expecting that the females will arrive because they're just that suave. It's sort of like a booty call, just with frog calls. Head bumping also seems to be a part of this mating ritual. Eh, boys will be boys, right? Other males just ride their females in from the creek, firmly clasping their forearms around the lady frog, making her do all that heavy lifting. And some males just take the lazy river approach. Good luck, bro. And some males... Wait, what am I looking at? One, two, yeah, three. It appears this female, who looks like she's being drowned alive, must really be plump with eggs. As she has two suitors battling for mating rights. And yes, it is those big-bodied females that are more desirable to these hormone-driven males. You can understand the desire of the male frogs to fight over her. This pool is a sausage fest of quacking male wood frogs. Anyways, we'll get back to these boys and see if they make any progress. Once a male has latched onto a female like a leech, where this mating position is called amplexus, which is sort of like the doggy style position, just froggy style. See what I did there? She'll find a nice spot to lay her eggs. Those gooey balls that look like the chewy tapioca balls in Taiwanese bubble tea. Mmm. Don't worry, I didn't eat any of them. Where was I? Ah, yes. So, while the female is plopping out her Taiwanese tapioca balls, the male drops his sperm onto the eggs so they can become fertilized. Once the eggs hit the water, they'll begin to absorb water and soon be unable to accept sperm. So he really needs to sink his sperm dropping with her releasing of eggs. And these two are doing it underwater. Skills. She'll go from being plump with eggs to losing all that weight in no time. But this after copulation cuddling doesn't appear to be her cup of tea. But at least she's almost done. Meanwhile, these chaps are still at it. But talk about concentration. There's a mosquito on his eye. The things we do to get some action. This, this guy knows what I'm talking about. Oh wait, a predator flew by. Now everybody pauses the orgy. Okay, coast is clear and the game is back on. A bit of bickering ensues. The one on the right is probably saying, Let go, men. You grabbed the wrong end. And the other dude is probably like, No, you let go. You're ugly. Or something along those lines. And it is hard work doing all this mating. So using your unborn offspring as pillows is also acceptable in the wood frog world. The eggs will hatch in about 10 to 30 days where... They will begin their next stage of life as tadpoles. Oh, and it looks like we have a loser from the three-way mating battle. Wow, he looks pretty upset. I mean, he was the guy who grabbed the wrong end of the female. Well, 
That's the world of the outdoors. Even at the Wood Frog Orgy, not everyone gets some action. Spread some knowledge. Beat nature heroic.